I gotta get her past the rocks. There we go. Oh my gosh, she swam right in. This fish could have up to like 50 babies in there, guys. It's absolutely crazy. These babies out. Look at that. Oh my God. Here we go. Oh my God, he got him. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video today. Yes, we are in my room and we're gonna be checking on the fish tank today. I've been waiting forever to film this video because one of my pet cichlids has babies in her mouth and they're finally ready to come out. So if you guys are ready for this, Go down there and hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed. Anyways, guys, let's get into the video. And that fish right there, the orange one with its mouthful, has a mouthful of baby cichlids. So today our goal is to catch her out and get her babies out because African cichlids are actually mouth brooders, which means they carry the, the eggs in their mouths until they hatch. Uh, and then they let them go. But obviously she can't let them go in here because the rest of the cichlids would eat them. So my job is to catch her out, which is a pain in the butt because I've done it before. She's actually had, I think four different fries at this point. So our job is to get her out and get her babies out of her mouth and into a separate little tub. That way she can go back to eating because obviously with her mouth full, she can't eat food. And we can get the babies safe from the other cichlids and have them in their own little thing. So it's gonna be a challenge, guys. Usually when I do this, it takes so long because these fish are quick and they got rocks in there. Lots of little places for them to run and hide. So let's get the net and try to strategize and try to catch her because She's smart, she's done this a bunch of times before and she knows how to get away. All right, we got this net. This is actually a bigger net than I usually use. Oh no, there she is. Usually when she sees the net, she's out. I haven't fed them yet today, so I think that might play to my side a little bit because when they haven't eaten, they'll follow me around the tank really, really fast. And if I can get the mom to follow me around, maybe I can quickly scoop her up. There she is right there, that orange one. I'm gonna try and net her really quickly. If this net doesn't work, I'm gonna have to drain the entire tank and probably remove most of these rocks to get her. So hopefully I can net her right away. Or not, or not. If I can get her to just not run into the rocks. Oh no, there she goes. Oh no. Okay, let me, let me leave the net halfway in. She's not in the rocks yet, but she does look really scared. She's trying to get to cover right now. I just need to get the net all the way in. Yep, there she goes under the rock. Okay, she got kicked out by the alpha male. That's good, that's good. Okay, this is a good spot. I'm gonna leave my net right here, I think. Okay, I'm gonna leave the net here. You guys are probably wondering what I'm doing. I'm just gonna leave the net here. She looks like she ran back there. Once once I step back, she'll she'll eventually come back out and hopefully she can come over here because this net reaches you know, most of the tank. So I should be able to trap her if she comes back out to this side. There she goes, there she goes, she's out in the open now. Now's my chance, now's my chance. All right, it's gonna be tough one-handed. One I gotta get her past the rocks, there we go. Oh my gosh, she swam right in. Oh my God, we got another one in there. We gotta get her out. See, we got two in there. That was so easy. Guys, usually I have to drain the entire tank. <laughs> oh, we got so lucky there. She, she swam right in the net. I don't even know if she saw it. Wow. There she is, guys. Perfect. Let's try to get this other little guy out. Come here, buddy. We don't need you. We don't need you, I'm sorry. There we go. Oh, he looks really different out of the water. He's he's normally like light brown. There you go, back in the tank, and we're keeping you. So let's lift her out real quick and get her in the bucket. And I'm just gonna try and just tip her in, there we go. Let's go guys, that was so easy. Oh my God, that big net really helps. Usually I have a tiny little net. <gasps> look, look, with all the stress, her moving around. Her flopping in the water, a little baby, two actually, two babies fell out. Man, this fish could have up to like 50 babies in there, guys. It's absolutely crazy. <gasps> look, look, look. Look at this. She's like, thank God I can finally release these babies. Look, she's actually releasing them on her own. Oh my God. Oh my God. She knows there's no predators in here that'll eat her babies. She really wants these babies out. Look at that, oh my God, that is insane. Oh, look how many there are already. 
She's got a lot more in there, I could tell. She's got more. Oh, she's got more, I think. There, there they go, there they go. There they go. There we go. This isn't hurting the fish. I'm just slowly moving water in and out of her mouth. I think that might be all the babies. Oh, there we go. I think that was the last one. Yeah, that should that should be the last one. I don't see any more in there. All right. Well, your job's done. Your job's done, Mama. We'll release you back. There you go. You can go back to eating, living your normal life. Man, she is probably so thankful right now. But anyways, guys, look at all the babies we have. That was actually really easy, man. This whole process just worked really well. All right, guys, let's go outside. I actually have a special little spot for these babies. All right, come on, fishies. Man, I'm just so happy that this worked out so well. Here's the koi pond. We're not going to be putting these guys in here because, as you guys know, if you watched one of my recent videos where we caught one of the babies in here, these cichlids down there have grown, like, to that big. It's insane how fast they grow. Still going to have to get those out at some point. There's the giant placo down there. He is super camouflaged. It's weird. He's like a chameleon. Like, he changes to the color of the rocks. But that's not where we're going to be putting the babies. We're actually going to be bringing the babies over here to this fountain. And this fountain is where I used to raise the little babies because we've had hatchlings before. I got to clean it up a bit because we haven't had hatchlings in a while, but it's perfectly safe. These babies don't need any sort of filtration. I mean, they got algae in here, which is good oxygen, and they got mosquito larvae they can eat. I'll feed them little flakes and all that. So yeah, as you can tell, these little babies, they're, they got an orange tint to them but they're not really colorful because they're just little babies. But when they get bigger, they'll look exactly like their mother because the ones over in that pond are already starting to look like her. That is so cool. I'm gonna, let's, let's count it. Let's see how many there are. Guys, pause the video right now and try to count how many you see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. 31, 32, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 30, 31, 32. I counted 32. I don't know if that was right. It was a little helpful because they were a little split in little segments. Oh, they're, they're going crazy. You guys, comment down below how many you counted. We're just going to release these guys into our new little, little habitat where they're going to grow. There you guys go. There they go. Look at them. Oh, we got some in the back still. There you go, guys. Oh, a couple more one more one more come on buddy time to go there you go so yeah guys we'll come out here i'll give you guys some updates on how they're doing these fish grow really quickly so we should start seeing some growth really really soon but look at all this algae this is all really good for them this is all like a natural habitat like a natural little pond all right guys well you're in for a treat now because i have not fed my bass yet today and unless you follow me on instagram or tiktok you have not seen the bass eat yet and they are really really well trained right now so we gotta catch some lizards for them actually there he is there he is got him we're gonna try and catch about five or six and we're gonna feed the bass oh my god Oh, dude, these bass are insane. Just like that, guys. We have a ton of lizards, and the bass are already going nuts. They know. They see the bucket. They know it's feeding time. So I'm going to stick my hand. This is actually kind of scary. Watch. Ready? Oh, my God. Did you see that? <laughs> he went for it. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> All right. I don't want to trick him too much. Let me grab a lizard here. There we go. Oh, my God. He got him. Dude, it is so quick. I don't know how they got trained so easily, but they are just absolutely nuts. Let's try to get another one without them running out. There we go. All right, let's hand feed this one. Ready? Oh, I see one down there. There you go. There he goes with it. <laughs> Look, he's got it in his mouth. It takes the smaller one some time to adjust and, and swallow it, but they always can get them down. If you guys feel bad for these lizards, I mean, I do too, but they're actually invasive to Florida. They're called brown anoles, and they come from Cuba, I believe. So they're completely destroying the habitat for the native green anoles and the other native lizards and wildlife. So it's actually a good deed we're doing today, getting rid of some of these lizards. Let's go ahead and drop you in. Oh, he's waiting. Oh, got him. Here we go. Who's hungry? Got him. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, dude, that was, that was so bad. You guys named this one Forrest Gump. And here's the other one. Oh, he's running, he's running. Come here. I got gotcha. you. 
And this is the newest one we found. We actually found them in my koi pond in the front and we could tell them apart because this one's a little tinier. So if you guys have a name for this one, leave it in the comments. All right, guys. Anyways, that'll do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe down below. We're closing in on 100,000 subscribers. So make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.